Hey everybody, what's going on? Cross here. So today I'm going to be testing out the 5.4 Priest, um, Discipline Priest, or not Discipline, what the hell am I talking about? Shadow Priest. I know Shadow Priest got some changes. I think the biggest change is the fact that instead of, uh, was it 10? 10 or 15% damage reduction whilst in Shadow Form is now only 60% armor. So that's, that's a big, I, I feel like that's a pretty big nerf for them against spellcasters i think that's actually a, um a good change um against melee so anything that obviously deals physical physical damage let's uh let's pop a fear on this guy all right let's uh all right so i'm gonna go ahead and disperse because i don't know i honestly have zero idea on how to deal with uh with melees on a priest i haven't played a priest in a while i do have the patch notes up for priest uh, the it's, it's July 27th right now, uh, but it is somewhat early. It is 12:23 on the PTR, uh, which I believe is I have no idea my time. I might I might just devouring plague this guy. Nope, just gonna just gonna get a free orb on this guy. Pop my trinket, devouring plague, mind flay. So this guy's gonna get tore apart. There it goes. He should mm, no my devouring plague fell off. But I'm just gonna, ow, I'm gonna death him again out of that. And he's dead. So, Shadow Priests do some great damage, especially with Triple Orb DP. Um, now, the thing I don't know about is if my specs are good. I know Mindbender and From Darkness, from darkness to Light are both good. Um, I do believe From Darkness Comes Light uh, got a buff. I think it has a higher chance to proc. Uh, it is up from a 15% chance to proc that. Um, Surge of Darkness, Periodic Damage from your Victor Touch. There's 20% chance to conjure your next Mind Spike. To not consume your dots and become an instant cast. Cost no mana. Deals 50% magic or 50% additional damage and it has two charges. So that seems like it's pretty good. Now it has a higher chance to proc. Now I still don't know if it's going to be better than Souls and Insanity. I feel like uh, Mind Flay Insanity is really good, but like um, it's better for burst damage. I feel like Mind Spike, um, Mind Spike Glitch from Darkness Comes Light would be better for, uh, I guess, more constant damage and more some sustained damage on the target due to the fact that you're probably going to get more procs than you will um, get DPs. That's just my personal opinion. It could be wrong. No, I don't really, you know, I haven't gone testing. I haven't tested, you know, like the average procs I get for my free Mind Blast with that resets to cooldown. I haven't really tested all that stuff. I'm just going to kill this thing. Um, so I can't really um, go too much in it. I can't mind flay these things. That sucks. Whatever. I'll just get free orbs on it, I guess. That's weird that I can't mind flay them. I actually didn't know that. Um, but you know there was um, I think I think the the shadow form thing I think was probably the biggest nerf for priest. The fact that I uh, don't take 15% reduced damage anymore, I feel like, was definitely the biggest nerf. Now, I don't think it's game-breaking by any means. I think Shadow Priest and Boomkins, because they also got that nerf, will still be great. I still think they'll do really good damage. I don't think um, that's going to affect them that much, because they have heals. You know, they have heals, and Spellcasters are usually usually high bursts uh, with, with small sustain damage, while Melees are, you know, like, heavy sustain um, and they have some good bursts, but that's, I mean, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of speaking from experience of a mage. Like, I'm obviously going to rely on the burst, so it's a little bit different for me, I guess. Um, because mages don't have the best sustained damage by any means, I would say. Uh, maybe fire. I mean, we, we have we have okay sustained damage. By no means is it like the top of the chart for um, spellcasters. I feel like Affliction Warlocks probably have the best sustain um, damage, like constant uptime. You know, they can apply dots, Malefic Grasp. Um, and they obviously have their bursts whenever they pop. Um, I actually can't think of the name right now. Let's go ahead and just, yeah, I, I, was, I was kind of expecting me to just DP that guy and he just died, which is pretty much what happened. So, what can you do? I actually still had the buff from DP. I, I actually didn't know it stayed on if um, if the DP killed him. So, like, I didn't know that, like, if I killed the guy with the DP, it would uh, still be on. What the hell? 
Oh, it's the crows. I know that got a buff, but hey, you know, we're talking about Shadow Priest right now. But, um, I think, I think the biggest changes for Shadow Priest were the Shadow Form and probably just, um, from Darkness Comes Light. And I know Mindbender also does, I think it deals, it deals 10% more damage and it gives 20%. And mana return has been increased by 20%, not two, but by. So that's, let's see what that gives now. Mindbender right now, grants the precision. Okay, so it doesn't really say how much it gives back. I guess it just gives back the same as Shadow Fiend, which 3% mana. So, whoa. Um, but I don't really know what's the increase of it. I would have to upgrade it, obviously, to, I'm sure, see on the thumbnail. Or the tooltip is what they're actually called. So, like I said, I'm not too sure on what it is, but it has been increased by 20% mana. So I almost like no matter what it is, it's it's gonna be a lot more mana returned to you. So I think that's a pretty good buff for Mindbender. I think that will probably be better for Disc Priest. So far, I really haven't seen myself running Oom too much, unless I have been healing myself quite a bit. Other than that, I feel like mana on Shadow Priest is pretty well. Um, I do go Oom um every once in a while, but usually by the time I am Oom, um, my Shadow Fiend's back up, and that appears to give me enough mana. I'm not really too sure if it does, but it feels like it does. Let's go ahead and silence this guy. I'm going to fear him. I probably shouldn't have wasted my orbs on him, but whatever. I feel like orbs are pretty easy to get, especially if you get procs. I'm assuming the more dots you have, the more procs you're going to get, so... Aw, oh man, I got stunned. But Shadow Priest also got... Oh, shit, that's going to hurt. Oh, no. Okay, okay, somebody come here. I'm going to disperse. I'm just going to run up here. I'm going to target a healer. I'm just going to... I'm just going to... I was going to life swap him. But I tried to shift jump. All right, let's life swap. <laughs> he probably hates me. I'm going to heal him, though. I'm going to be a nice guy and heal him a little bit. Okay, let's go back in shadow form first of all. Puss, okay, or not. AoE around here so we can pull that rogue out. Cast some spells on this guy. Let's get the uh, Devarian Plague him so he should die here. Tons of damage. I don't know if that was for me. If it was, holy shit. If it wasn't, holy shit, because somebody did a lot. Okay, so I figured he was going to run. I am slowed right now for some reason. I guess I have crippling poison on me. I guess let's just kill his pet that ate my baby, you son of a bitch pet. Okay, he he died. So, like like I said, Shadow Priest seemed really strong. I think the Shadow Form change really won't affect Shadow Priest or Boomkins all that much. Because I honestly feel like most of the time, casters have the hardest times dealing with melee. So, I feel like the armor would actually maybe... I won't say better. I think the 15% damage is better all around, but I don't think taking out that 15% damage reduction that they get is going to be like a huge thing that's just going to break the game and make them like just shitty classes. I do not think that at all because I know as a mage, I usually have most trouble with um, things that melee me except warriors. Um, but even actually even in 5.4, I've been having troubles with warriors. Warriors have been doing a ton of damage to me and I don't really... Um, their their spell reflect seems like such a short cooldown. It feels like it's a 10 second cooldown. I haven't really tested warriors that much, but it just seems like the shortest cooldown in the world. And I just don't know, like, how to really um, do anything about it. You know, it's just like a, such a short cooldown. You know, I'm getting ready to deep them. You know, they're in a the root of oh, JK reflect, and it seems like the next time I get a root up, JK reflect. Even if I pet Nova, I'm trying to do it. Reflect. It's just, it seems like they got a lot of reflex, but it might be mass spell reflect and regular reflect. I'm not too sure, but Shadow Priest did get some glyph changes. So one of them is called Glyph of Dark Binding's effect is now baseline and has a Glyph of Focused Mending. Um, glyph of Dark Binding, I believe, made it so you could cast Cleanse and Leap of Faith while in sh while in Shadow Form, and I think that's baseline now. I'm not too sure. I can't really look at it at this time. Um, Glyph of Focus Mending causes Prayer Mending to only bounce between the target and the caster. 
I think it's pretty good for twos. I think in threes it won't be as effective or as useful. But in twos, I think that would be a pretty good, maybe a pretty good glyph option to go to. Now these are major glyphs. Glyph of Fear Ward now, now reduces the cooldown on Fear Ward without reducing its duration. I think that's a really good glyph. I don't know how many priests run it now. I feel like that's more of a disc priest glyph. Why do I have Glyph of Prayer Mending? Oh, I know. Focus Mending is one. Okay. Um, Glyph of Lightwell has been renamed Glyph of Deep Wells. Glyph of Deep Wells increases number of charger on light wells by two, so that's obviously a buff. Like I said, I don't know how many of these glyphs are actually in use, but let's just stick to more Shadow Priest. And we actually have finished this battle. Am I top on? I am top on damage. So I'm pretty much a natural Shadow Priest. You guys can call me Talbadar if you guys would like. But I think Shadow Priests are going to be very, very strong. Um, I don't really think that the the Shadow Form nerf is going to be too bad for Shadow Priests. I think it's still going to be great. Maybe, I don't know how Shadow Priests are now with dealing with melee. Personally, I I can't really deal with melee on, my, on this Shadow Priest, but that's because I don't know how to play a Shadow Priest. If you play a Shadow Priest, let me know your thoughts on how my review was. If you guys have any other requests for classes for me to go over, feel free to let me know. I'm probably going to wait a few days till I post my next one, and I'm thinking of expanding to new games. I kind of want to start posting Minecraft. Now, I know you guys are probably going to yell at me and say, oh, that's so cliche, Minecraft, you know, everybody posts Minecraft, but I want to give it a shot. We'll see how it goes, and maybe I can do some collabs with bigger Minecrafters, and we'll see how that goes. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys.